Whoa, why are your folks here? To my shock, Trevor, my hubby, dropped a bombshell. They're moved in with us. Hold up, you didn't say anything about this. I blurted, thrown for a loop. A quick glance and yup, his parents were totally making themselves at home, sipping coffee and lounging. Don't like it? There's a door. That was the last straw. All right then, I'm out. I'm Natalie, 32, and up till now, a stay-at-home wife. Trevor and I have been married for four years. We met at work, he was the point guy for a client. A couple of work projects in, drinks happened, sparks flew, and things got serious. Natalie, you're a total go-getter. You light a fire under me. Really? That means a lot. Totally. I'd always given my all, but rarely got any props for it. That was our jam. Easy conversations and post-work hangs. One thing led to another, and after playing the dating game for a year, we went all in and tied the knot. 28 felt just about right for the whole till death do us part thing, and with him, it seemed like a solid bet. Marriage was a dream come true, at least at first. He couldn't whip up a meal to save his life, so I rocked the apron. He was always all, Living solo meant fast food and grab and goes. Your cooking is pure home vibes. Thanks, love. Oh, it's my pleasure, as long as you're digging it. We were two peas in a pod. But then, his folks and their old school beliefs happened. Their mantra? Wives should be homebodies, bend over backward for their in-laws and pop out babies ASAP. And being the round peg in their square hole, I got the cold shoulder. You're honestly the worst. Can't get anything right, can you? Keep it up and you'll be out on your ear. They'd trash talk me during our visits. Talk about a knife to the heart. Trevor was not exactly my knight in shining armor. Give it a rest, mom and dad. Nobody's perfect. Not exactly a rousing defense. Our trust was crumbling fast. Buckling under parental pressure, I gave my job the boot. That was two years ago. He kind of nudged me towards the homemaker life. I made a case for Team Us working, but he went with the Cut me some slack. My folks are up my grill, saying, You're walking all over me. Just go with it, so I catch a break. He looked genuinely beat, so I caved. If my giving up my work meant better relationships within the family, I was all for it. But it turned out to be a big mistake. Being home 24-7 gave his parents a free pass to play puppeteer. Now that you're officially on house duty, haul yourself over here and tackle ours. His mom, Paulina, would bark on the daily. If I ignore her, she'd tattle to Trevor. So off I went, dragging my feet. Paulina, with that snarky grin, would unleash a mountain of to-dos. If I batted an eyelid, she'd snipe. Makes sense. You ditched house chores for a paycheck, so you're clearly out of practice. Fuming, I'd dive in, giving their place the full spa treatment, but she kept adding to the list. Honestly, I felt more like Cinderella before the ball than family. I was in a race against time, trying to knock out a crazy workload. My stubborn streak pushed me, but man, was I worn out. Emotionally, physically, the whole nine yards. When I'm hustling around at my in-laws, sometimes my father-in-law Mark is kicking back since he's got the day off. And trust me, the man doesn't hold back. Mind whipping up some coffee? Sh sure thing. <laughs> Give me a sec. Hello, I said no. I'm on it. Jeez, what's with her? Every time he cranks up the volume, Pauline is right there adding her two cents. Seriously, what's her deal? Bet her folks would be a sight to see. You've met them, remember? Plain as day. Oh yeah, super vanilla. Yep, they even throw shade at my parents. That was the last straw. Okay, lay off. Trash talk me all you want, but leave my parents out of it. Say you're sorry. Apologizing for dissing my parents. I erupted, face flaming. They probably didn't expect me to talk back like that. They looked like deer in headlights. But then their pride kicked in. Whoa there, missy. Know your place. For real? Who do you think you are talking back like that? 
out. No. So I booked it out of there. That evening, Trevor was all up in arms. My folks called. They said you caused a scene. What happened? They were trashing my family. Was I supposed to just take it? But you're part of this family now. Seriously? You too? Look, I can't deal with them anymore. Stop making this about you. This isn't a me thing. It's self-preservation. If you want this marriage to work, swear I won't have to face your folks again. Okay, okay. I made my point so clear he didn't have a choice. From then on, no more in-law visits. At Christmas, Trevor did his family thing while I kicked back with mine. Just ditching the in-law drama was an instant stress buster. Life's been smooth sailing. Maybe that's why I got a surprise. I'm expecting. We've hit our four-year mark, so this wasn't on my radar. My chill vibes probably made it happen. When I broke the news to Trevor, he was over the moon. Wow, we're gonna be parents. This is awesome, Nat. Let's make this a great journey. Wait till my folks here. They'll be ecstatic. Ugh, why go there? I don't need reminders of their grandkid nagging. They'll probably want a mini Trevor and throw a fit if it's a girl. I brush that off, focusing on the bub on the way. Just thinking about them stressed me out. Boy names? Girl names? I got lost in those thoughts. Trevor piped up. Mom and Dad want to throw a baby bash. But I was having none of it. No way was I erasing the past because of a new chapter. Meeting them? Hard pass. He was a bit bummed. Are you ghosting them for good? They're family. At least show up for the big moments. I sighed. Fine. Once the kiddo arrives, we'll do a quick intro. But if they cross a line, I'm done. Deal. He looked totally beat, but the root of it all was his folks and their treatment of me. If they'd been chill, we could have avoided the drama. Then came baby time. I safely delivered our bundle of joy, Lisa. Gosh, she's a cutie. Trevor was over the moon, always cooing and calming her. His parents swung by the hospital for a visit. I was a bundle of nerves seeing them, but thank goodness they were all eyes on Lisa. Isn't she darling? Doesn't she have Trevor's eyes? For real? Absolutely. She's gonna be a knockout one day. They were so wrapped up in Lisa, they barely glanced my way. Cool with me, I was in the mood for clashes. Trevor and his folks headed out after a bit, sticking to our game plan. We'd agreed. Limit the in-law interaction, especially right after childbirth. He kept his word, but I had no idea he was cooking up a surprise. A few days later, ready to head home with Lisa, I called Trevor for a ride. His excuse? Work. On his day off? Something felt fishy. The guy was always home by dinner, hardly any overtime. My spidey senses tingling, I got home and boom, shoes everywhere. His kicks right up front. So much for work, he played it cool. Back so soon? I was ticked. Work, huh? Where's that? He fumbled, coming up short. The real kicker was walking in to see his folks. Whoa, why are your folks here? I shot, then he dropped a whopper. They've moved in with us. Hold up. You didn't say anything about this. But with his parents sprawled out, making themselves at home, he got bold. My parents come first. You're the wife, you roll with it. He rarely got loud like that. Then his parents chimed in. Hey Natalie, you're back. We're roomies now. This place is big and new. Perfect for the family. <laughs> Wait, what? We've been in this place for a year, but apparently they missed the memo. Trevor, feeling all gutsy with his parents backing him up, snapped. Don't like it? Door's right there. You can't be serious. Try me. That did it. Fine. I'm out. Grabbing Lisa, I bolted and spilled everything to my folks. They were livid. Dad didn't waste time. We rang up a mover and stormed back to confront my suddenly gutsy husband and his folks. Oh, back again? Thought you got the boot? As she said this, movers began rolling up. Hold up. What's happening here? The movers started hauling out boxes like it was Black Friday. 
They snagged my stuff and pretty much everything in the house, down to the toaster. Whoa! Why are you snagging all our stuff? I shot back. Because it's mine, Paulina. Trevor was off at work, and from what I heard, Mark had gone all fisherman on us since dawn, so it was just her watching the great escape. She looked like she'd seen a ghost, watching the movers do their thing. After the last box was loaded up, they zoomed off. And do me a favor, give these divorce papers to Trevor, I said, handing them over. She took them, still in La La Land. Dad and I hightailed it out of there, and soon enough my stuff landed at my folks' place. I'd need my parents back up juggling work and single mom life, so moving in with them for a bit felt right. Cue predictable drama that evening. Ring ring. Hello, why'd you swipe all our stuff? How are we supposed to Netflix and chill now? My comeback? Well, you won't be doing it there much longer. Come again? Memory jog. My dad owns that joint. He was gonna rent out that fixer upper, but we got first dibs. Remember? You could practically hear his penny dropping. My bad. Let's rewind and live happily ever after. Talk about wishful thinking. Dream on. Pack up and peace out, or wanna dance with the cops? Okay, okay, we're gone. I could hear his folks losing it in the background. Whatever. Fast forward. Divorce? Check. Child support from him? Double check. And if he's slacking, I can dip into his paycheck. Last I heard, Trevor and his parents were cramped in some budget apartment. Child support ain't helping their wallets. Karma's a trip, huh? As for me, I'm diving into mom life, backed by my folks, and after some hustle, nailed a job. Here's to grinding it out and watching my kiddo grow with grandma and grandpa around. <laughs>